one of the most notorious outlaw motorcycle clubs of today, though not with the law enforcement agencies, is the Pagans MC, also called the Pagans. They were mostly a peaceful MC, nonviolent in its outcome. Slowly, as they began to accept more and more members in the 60s, they became more like a traditional outlaw MC. But today, the Pagans are known as one of the most badass motorcycle clubs with strict rules. But you know what? There are so many things that you don't know about this normal motorcycle club. Of course, they are one of the friendliest motorcycle clubs, but still, stick on as we are going to unravel some traditional laws and facts about the Pagans Motorcycle Club. Initially, the Pagans MC was formed with just 13 members. Formed by Lou Dobkin in 1957, the Pagans MC was born in Prince George's County, Maryland with all of 13 members. Their official MC business began in 1958-1959, with the club being pretty peaceful. In the 60s, as it began to expand, it began to follow the traditional OMG setup, simply because it was joined by a lot of veterans with plenty of resentment against the government. Their MC president was paid the same as the US president. Interesting, right? The Pagans are ruled by a mother club or ruling council with a proper governing structure and a president. The first president was John Satan Moran, the erstwhile president of the Sons of Satan MC. In the early 60s, as a show of class, well, the Moran was paid the same salary as that of the US president, around $100,000 a year. Initially, the Pagans preferred triumph over Harley Davidson's. As you know, when we think of MCs, the first thing that comes to our mind is their love for Harley Davidson. But here, the bike changed. When they first started, they dressed in blue denim jackets with embroidery rather than biker jackets with patches. Although outlaw motorcycle clubs prefer riding Harley Davidsons, the Pagans' preference for motorcycles was always leaning more towards Triumphs. As they expanded, the Harleys later replaced the Triumphs. However, the blue denim jackets remained with the embroidery replaced with traditional patches. They are the ones who invented the one percenter patch that other MCs adopted. There is still much we don't know about one percenter motorcycle clubs, but the term itself comes from AMA that claimed that 99% of all motorcycle clubs were peaceful, but there were 1% who indulged in hooliganism. In the 60s, someone in the Pagans MC honed in on the term and made a one percenter patch, the diamond-shaped one with one percenter written in it. Soon, it became the emblem of every outlaw MC out there. Along with Caucasians, the Pagans MC are Latinos as well. Of course, there are no other MCs without Weitzman policy. Although all motorcycle clubs have rules they need to follow, while some one percenters are very race and color conscious, the Pagans have not just Caucasians as members, but also Latinos. Some members disapprove of this mixed race policy, but no brother can question the rules set by the founding fathers of the Pagans MC. The Pagans MC is mushrooming. With 1,300 plus members and more than 100 chapters, the Pagans MC is growing quickly and extends to Puerto Rico. Today, there are more than 900 members in Pagans MC, with 300 of them being in Jersey alone. The law enforcement officials are worried and call it a threat to public safety. When the club presidents were summoned into a court appearance, they pleaded the Fifth Amendment and refused to answer to violence claims, except saying that it was not club policy to not follow the law. How badass is that? Known as Big Chuck, Wayne Bradshaw was a big-time Pagans member with plenty of history with the club. However, when he decided to move on and gave up his patch, he became an undercover cop. It seems not every Pagans member is bound to the criminal and outlaw lifestyle, as Bradshaw later became a decorated 20-year undercover police veteran. Their weekly meetings are called church, much like how the devout do not miss the weekly mass unless they want to damn their souls. The weekly chapter meetings of the Pagans MC is compulsory for all members and are even called church. Yet again, an example of how the Pagans MC answers only to itself and its rules and for the rest of the world, they wear the Nunya patch, as in Nunya fucking business. Pagans absorb smaller MCs. And the weird thing is, they are called the Swallow and Small. The Pagans MC's sudden increase isn't because of a record number of applications. Rather, they have begun to assimilate the smaller MCs of their area, often with threat-powered coaxing than anything else. They have also begun to accept the less than stellar members of the society, maybe seeing it as a power play. They are rumored to murder members who switch to Hell's Angels. 
Switching from one motorcycle club to another, especially if it's a rival motorcycle club, is a big sign of disrespect. That being the case, the Pagans are rumored as having been involved in numerous drive-by shootings of former members who converted to Hell's Angels. An incident like this occurred in 2005, where a fresh Hell's Angels member was killed, but the case remains unsolved. Like all other outlaw MCs, they consider women property. Women don't really have the highest status in a motorcycle club. This has been the case for generations, and depending on the club, they're referred to either as property or pets. The reasoning is that they're the ones who choose this kind of life and have to abide by the rules. The same goes for the pagans. And the women of motorcycle club members tend to wear special patches that say property of and the name of their partner who's in the club. They wear plenty of coded number patches as well. We know what the one percenter patch means, and that is the MC, does not follow AMA rules and is an outlaw one. The pagans wear other numbers as well. A number seven patch means in memory if they are honoring a fallen member. Meanwhile, a number five patch means they have Nazi affiliations. Forget chapters, Pagan's MC rules the East Coast. The Pagan's MC does not bother about chapters for a reason, because they believe that they are already the kings of the East Coast. This is why the bottom rocker now says East Coast, because the Pagans have a territory that spans the entire East Coast. Not very modest, are they? the bottom rocker is left out as a show of independence. Before the pagans started to wear East Coast as their bottom rocker, they did not have one. The reason was simple. As part of their code as an MC, it was their right to not tell anyone which city or state the pagan member was from. Think of it as cocking a snook at the law enforcement agencies. The pagans MC patch comes from a Jack Kirby illustration. The patch of the pagans is of the fire giant Surtur, sitting on the sun and wielding a sword from Nordic mythology. Pagans is written in red, white, and blue. The image does not come from a mythology book, though. It's an illustration by Jack Kirby from the 97th issue of the comic, Journey into Mystery. You know what? Their semi-official motto is a bit scary. The pagans often wear a number four patch as well, and this one means live and die, which many consider to be pagans MC's motto. Some also wear live pagans die pagans on their blue denim jackets, referred to as cuts. If a member breaks the rules, he can be shown to the door of the MC, or sometimes even this planet. The pagans MC has always projected an image of fearlessness in the face of any criminal organization. Despite its controversial reputation, the Pagans Motorcycle Club remains an intriguing organization, with members who display fierce loyalty to their club and its code. And that wraps up today's content. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.